Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today for Aliens April, I'm taking a first impressions look at Alien 3 for the NES. This is actually one of those licensed games that came out from the same developer on like five different systems, all of which were slightly different games that shared some themes. But this is the, I think, most basic version of this. There is also a Game Boy one, but it's a top-down game instead of a side-scroller. So I figured we'd check this one out. We're gonna probably see a few of these versions of Alien 3, because it turns out, when I was looking through Aliens and Alien vs. Predator games that I had not covered yet, there really wasn't that many. And this is one of the ones where there's a bunch of them that fill up the list, so I figured we'd check out some of them at least. So we're going to set this to 9 lives, because as we'll see, this is a very arcade prone-to-failure kind of game. I like this intro music, though. Alright. So I believe all of the side-scrollers have the same goal, which is we have to find prisoners who are webbed up and rescue them before a chestburster comes out of them. And we have a pulse rifle to start with. We have... Grenades, we have other kind of grenades that are not under barrel, and we have a flamethrower. Despite the fact that this is called Alien 3, it is, you know, unsurprisingly for a game published by LJN, it is very unrelated to the actual movie that it's based off of. Since Ripley is running around with a pulse rifle blasting hordes of xenomorphs, because, you know, how many xenomorphs were in Alien 3? Pretty much one, unless you count the Queen Chestburster that comes out of Ripley at the end as a second one. But this is like, hey, what if we just took the, like, you know, prison planet setting of Alien 3 and then made it Aliens, where Ripley runs around blast xenomorphs. And that's pretty much what all of the different versions of this are. Now, at the bottom there, you can see we have a timer that flashes to PR. That's how many prisoners we need to rescue before that time runs out. And if it runs out, we have to start over. So, we have to find four prisoners in this level in the next two and a half minutes. Facehuggers don't seem particularly dangerous. Ripley is pretty resilient. You know, she just gets knocked over and takes a little bit of damage when we get hit by a Xenomorph. Uh, there is a motion tracker, but you don't start with it. You have to find it as a power-up, I believe. Whereas in the Master System version, you do start with- Ooh, Xenomorph in the ceiling here. But yeah, so we have to find that as a power-up, and I think the SNES version, you can actually kind of, like, look up maps of the area to see where these guys are, so they all have different features like that, which makes them, I think, worth checking out separately. I'm just falling off. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we rescued that prisoner. I don't know what he's going to do about the uh, chest burster that's still inside of him, but that's no longer our problem, because we can say we rescued him. Thankfully as we'll see when we fail here by running out of time, the game will show you where all the prisoners are after each failed attempt, so then you can try to figure out how to get there. Man, I feel like I have to walk slow, because otherwise the Xenomorph will spawn right on the edge of the screen and hit you. I think they don't spawn randomly, though. I think they are fixed spawns, so we don't have to worry about getting surprised here. I think I just took a lot of damage there. Can I get that stuff? Ah, uh, I ran out of pulse rifle. You actually don't have very much. I don't think you can carry more than 99. Oh my god, I'm trying to make this jump, but <laughs> she doesn't jump until I'm already off the ledge. Maybe I can't... No, you can jump while moving. I think I just have to do it a little early. What a surprise that an LGA game has a little bit of input lag for jumps. Because I feel like they have a reputation from the NES days as, you know not exactly making quality games. Okay, I found more pulse rifle ammo. I don't know what else I found there. I think more grenades. Okay. Nope, we failed. And then we get a little cutscene where it goes, okay, this is where they are. So this one is, like, all the way to the right. Dead. And then down and to the left, and then down some more. Dead. That's the guy we were looking at. 
So I only missed two. Alright, so it looks like... Two of them are to the left, one is in the middle, and one is on the far right. Can I get to that far right one first? Because I feel like he's going to be the hardest one to get to. You can close these doors again, but since the Xenomorphs don't respawn, I'm not sure why you would. <laughs> Trips and falls down the stairs. Okay, apparently I'm supposed to tumble down here. Okay, I think this is him. Yeah, okay, so we can't get back from here. We have to go up and around again. So that guy's a pain in the ass to get to. Uh, I think we also need to reach the exit before the timer runs out, so saving them is not enough. You kind of have to plan out how to escape. And if I remember from my tinkering, there's a vent to the bottom right of this area, so I think that's our exit. Okay, so this guy just fucking grabs me. I don't know what I should use on him. I can't shoot the grenades up. That doesn't even hit him. Whatever, just leave him there. Okay, so we got this guy up here. That's two. And then we should get the one directly below, and then the one in the middle last. So yeah, I think we can do this. Uh, there's no reason to go over there. <laughs> just fuck up that egg. Good grenade! At least it one-shots them, because it's kind of awkward to aim. She throws it so fucking far, and you can't throw it while you're crouching. Alright. Okay, so if I kind of zigzag like that, I can get down without taking damage. I think I'm not holding the flamethrower long enough for it to actually do damage. I was just tapping it, and it looks like it wasn't hitting them. So there's one down here. I think the last one is over to the left some more. Yep, right there. Okay, we got all the prisoners. Now I think we need to leave. <laughs> if we could find the exit in the next minute and a half. Otherwise, we get to do that again. Because it just says game over instead. Okay, yeah, we need to go this way. So... I think it's the Master System version that has a lot more vent crawling. You actually need to get from one room to another. So this one has entirely unique levels. But otherwise, play is pretty similar to that version, I think. And then the SNES version seems to have the most complicated levels. It has, like, background doors you have to go into that are their whole other areas. Okay, can we leave now? Well done. I mean, I wasn't actually sure if I would beat a single level in this video, so I'm glad we did. I don't know how many levels there are, but it seems like it's <laughs> the same thing. You just go underground, find the prisoners, repeat. Where did the Xenomorph go? Oh. It's a good thing Ripley is so tough. Maybe they're just not hitting her too hard, because she's got a queen inside her. They don't want to rough her up. Also, for some reason, the pulse rifle overheats, even though... Like, there's never seems to be a reason so far to fire it for more than a second. Uh, did I pick up a motion tracker? Something appeared at the bottom left, and now it's not actually in there. I mean, as far as I know, the controls are just... Oh, we did pick up a motion tracker. So, does that only tell me where enemies are and not where colonists are? Because I think in one of the other versions, it does tell you where the prisoners are. Colonists, yeah, they're, they're prisoners that we're rescuing. They may have double XX chromosomes or whatever, but that doesn't mean they're not people. Wow, that's actually going to get pretty annoying, that <laughs> motion tracker. I wish you could drop off the ladder. 
Well, I guess if we follow this ping, and it led me to a person that would tell me I'm going the right way. Uh, we still need four more prisoners. Okay, you shoot up diagonally with a pulse rifle when you shoot up. So I think this is leading me to people? I'm not really looking at it. It's very tiny and it's very out of the way. And now it's stopped completely. Oh yeah, it definitely doesn't go off when there's prisoners around. It just shows you where the xenomorphs are. Which is still good, because you know they're ahead of you. Ripley has, like, a crash test dummy symbol on her hip there. Okay. it's two prisoners left. Not doing too bad, but we're still gonna run out of time. Because I don't know the layout of this level at all. Unless I just stumble into them and then find the exit. <laughs> There's one over there. So yeah, this seems very arcadey, despite not being developed for the arcades. It's just meant to keep you busy. I fell a lot. Forgot I have to kind of walk for a second before I can jump. I also didn't see the exit. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking Christ. But this is not going to be a long first impressions. I think we'll give this level another attempt, and if we don't pass it, that'll be good enough because there isn't really a lot to show here. I came all this way, didn't I? These doors are all open. Yep. So, I don't know how to get down there. Maybe I had to go from the surface again. I don't even remember where the prisoners I found were, like... I'm not really paying attention to the layout here. Failed to rescue the prisoners. Why does he look like a synth? He has, like, red eyes. Okay, straight down. And then over to the right. Through the wall, of course. There seems to be always one that's in a pain-in-the-ass place. Two. Okay, so there was just a separate section over to the right that has the other two prisoners. That's actually not too bad. I think we can do this. We got four and a half minutes. Okay, that's a waste of your time. So I think there was one like right over here. There was definitely one, like, over here, yeah. Grab that guy. And then there was one over here. What? <laughs> Fine, I'm taking damage to save time. Okay, that guy there. I think there's one more at the bottom here where the elevator goes. It's like not even worth trying to shoot them off the ceiling. You might as well just walk close enough that they drop down. Okay, so as long as I can make it off of this elevator... <laughs> we just need to get back up to the surface and then go over to the right. Ah, damn it. Also, what are these things on the ground? And now we need to go up here. Thankfully, you can jump through the platforms. Uh, and then across. I'm, like, actually trying to remember the layout here. I think this goes up all the way. And then there should be another 
entrance over here. Probably another Xenomorph, too. Nope, there's no other entrance here. Well, shit. Did I go this way? No, I didn't. Okay, this might lead where we need to go. Nope, this is a dead end. What the fuck? I don't know how to get to the right. <laughs> okay, there's another door here that I didn't open, so this might be it. Nope, this is another dead end. Great. Really intuitive how to get over here. I didn't go this way. Okay. Uh, this might actually be the guy I saw through the wall. 38 seconds. I was so convinced that there would be an exit at the top. I really hope there's a guy down here. <laughs> it's 24 seconds. Just please be sitting right in front of the exit door. Yeah, save time. Nope. 10 seconds. Six seconds. Impact. Damn it. I really thought we had it that time. Where is this last fucker? Go through the door we went through. Oh, that was the guy through the wall. The one that I have no fucking clue how to get to. What a bitch. If I go this way? Where does this lead? Okay, this leads to a shortcut to this side. So yeah, I don't really know how to get over there. I didn't see any like, pathways that would have led us to the side. I mean, the Xenomorphs aren't much trouble, it's just the time limit that's the real enemy here. Ripley is just too resilient in her jumpsuit. I love how little fall damage you take when you plummet down an elevator shaft. Okay, so that's three of them. It's like that one guy is also in a place where the death cutscene at the end doesn't even really tell you how to get to him. It's just like, oh yeah, you just go straight down and through the wall, obviously. Okay, that's the guy we rescued last time. Like, unless that ventilation shaft does lead to him as well, I don't know how you get down there. Okay, this is not the right way. I don't know what I picked up there. I guess it was the motion tracker, which is also blinking for an enemy that isn't around. Also weird that there hasn't been another ceiling xenomorph, you know, the grabby hands guy. Two minutes. Can we make it in two minutes? Did I go this way? No, oh, there's the tricky fucker. Nope, that might not have been him. I can't tell. It looks like there was a big wall of red next to the last guy. But yeah, this is the vent right here, which, based on where he is, I think this should lead to him. Well, if it doesn't lead to him, he's dead again. Fall down that vent shaft, that's fine. Oh man, this one's complicated. Like, hey, at least to its credit, they didn't completely make this up. The movie did have vent shafts that the prisoners are, like, cleaning out. Oh my god, this just keeps going. 
If I have to go through here, this is like a big fuck you. How much of your time will you waste trying to find the one correct path? And then run out of time to get through the exit. Also, I like that she holds her arm out here like she's got fucking Samus's arm cannon. Yep, there's the exit door, which would be open if I found this last prisoner, but he's in fucking who knows where. I'm gonna guess that he's just not accessible from anywhere I've been. Or there's some, like, underneath door that I have to go up from. I like this ominous music, though. Like, oh, you fucked up. This is the price you pay. Like, that doesn't give me any clues. Yeah, it's just over here, off the rest of the map. And look how happy he is about it with his square teeth. Alright. Well, I think that's a good look at the NES version of Probe's Alien 3. They are actually the same developer who later would make Alien Trilogy. After making <laughs> these five Alien games, Alien 3 games. But we'll be checking out a few more of those, and I do have some other Alien and Alien vs. Predator first impressions, as well as two or three full playthroughs of, like, one-offs. Games that'll be, like, an hour video. You know, arcade games. But, until then, y'all take care, and I hope you look forward to seeing more Ripley tumble down staircases and fight aliens.